So the problem statement is the steel bar has a di dimension shown. Determine the maximum the maximum axial force P that can be applied so not to exceed an allowable tensile stress of 150 megapascal. So we're given the maximum allowable stress that this part can experience is 150 megapascals. Now we have the given dimensions. In this case, it actually has a thickness to this plate of 20 millimeters and the corners have a radius of 15 millimeters. And so we could already see that we have two locations where there's going to be stress concentrations, right? We have one in the middle due to the hole, and we have another one due to the corner here. So these two locations are the locations of interest because we know that that's where this object is going to experience the maximum stress, and therefore we need to design accordingly such that these points do not experience uh, stress more greater than the 150 megapascals given for this design. So now in this case, we're going to have to solve for the maximum stress at these two locations. Let's go ahead and solve for the stress concentration at the hole first. So the first factor when you're looking at the graphs for the stress concentration, we have the parameter 2R divided by W. In this case, the W is the width of this plate, 60 millimeters, and 2R is the, essentially the diameter of this hole. So it's 24 millimeters divided by 60 millimeters, which gives us a value of 0 0.4. So now going to the value of 0 0.4 and going up to the line in that graph, we go to the left hand side to get our K value, which is 2.2. So this is the stress concentration factor that we need to solve for the maximum stress. So now what exactly is the average stress in this? Well, if you're looking at the graph, you have that formula, right? Which is just the cross-sectional area of this rectangle, but you need to take away um, the dimensions of that hole. So you have that equation. And plugging in for the values, we have the value P divided by 720 millimeters squared because this is a cross section area. Now P is the actual value that we're trying to solve. Now using that um, equation of the maximum stress is equal to the stress concentration factor times the average. Now in this case, we are trying to solve for the maximum external load such that we won't exceed the allowable stress. So this essentially is the maximum for our design. And we have our K factor. The only thing in this equation that is unknown would be the P. And we just go ahead and solve for the P or the external load. So just keeping everything in variable form, the maximum stress is the allowable divided by the K factor times W, take away 2R times T, which is essentially just a cross-section area here. And this is the equation to solve for the external load. Now, after you plug in all the values, just keep in mind to keep all the units consistent. So all the units cancel out and you get the appropriate unit for the load in this case. And so this gives us P equal to 49 kilonewtons. Now keep in mind, this is not the answer just yet, right? This is only concerning the stress concentration at the hole. However, at the radius, we need to solve for the stress concentration to see what's the maximum load that it could handle. So for the corner, when you're looking at the graph, one of the parameters is R divided by the H, and we see that's 15 millimeters divided by 30, which gives us 0.5. This is our first parameter found in the graph here. The second parameter is W divided by H, which is 60 millimeters divided by 30, which is equal to 2. And that gives us a stress concentration factor of 1.4. And so now going ahead and solving for the average stress is equal to that load divided by the cross-sectional area, which in this case is HT. This would be your average. And then again, doing that same equation, the maximum stress is equal to stress concentration factor times the average. We already have, we already know the maximum allowable stress. And so we go ahead and solve for our P which is the, ma the maximum allowable stress times the cross-sectional area divided by stress concentration factor, which gives us 
64 kilonewtons for the other stress concentration factor. So now the question is, what is the maximum load that this plate can handle? Well, we see we have a value of 49 kilonewtons that this could handle at the hole, and we have 64 kilonewtons that the plate could handle at the corner. So now you choose the lowest value. Because if you happen to exceed the 64 kilonewtons at the corner, you will be fine. However, it must not be exceeded at the location of the hole. And therefore, you have to go with the lowest um, external load that you saw for these for a more conservative to not exceed the allowable stress. So you have to look at all the different locations and see what gives you the worst case scenario in this case 49 if you go above 49 kilonewtons you're going to exceed the allowable stress at the hole you won't exceed it at the corner however you will exceed it at the hole so you always choose the lowest value p and this is how you solve problems dealing with stress concentrations when it comes to any holes or any sharp corners or corners with radiuses